Oh boy, did a big mess up ever happen? Guys, some stuff for Aberration has been leaked by a streamer, unfortunately. Also, I'm kind of annoyed that that light isn't attached to the end of the ability ability thing, but we got a mech! Hell yeah! So this is part of a sponsored mod, actually, the Arc Futurism mod. I believe something like that, but it's still a pretty cool mech, so I'm gonna mess around with this. And then I'm gonna get into some aberration stuff because things were leaked. The Rock Drake was leaked and the Basilisk was leaked. And the Rock Drake apparently comes with its very own tech saddle. I have actual video footage that I'm about to play for you guys to enjoy and check out. I wanna know from you what you think about it in the comment section below. And as a reminder, I will have a Aberration server up and running the day of the DLC's launch, as well as me covering as much of the content as I want, because I feel like a, uh, I don't know, insert good analogy here, I guess, because I'm very excited. Anyways, guys, welcome back to Ark. As always, leave a like if you do enjoy videos like this, and let's get into it. So the first order of business is moving into the footage of the Rock Drake. That's what I want to do right now. So that's what we're going to do. So everything's looking kind of cool as far as the Rock Drake goes, at least in my opinion. Now, you could see that it could glide through the air. It had the mechanics of the original, well, I guess aberration re uh, reveal of it. And I just want to add in real quick that apparently a lot of this stuff was leaked from a streamer. Something happened with Microsoft and Ark and their store. Not exactly sure what it was. It's been since, uh, since patched, but there was a way to get the DLC early and the content. Now, how this person was able to stream it all for so long, I have zero idea, but Wildcard did buckle down. And Wildcard, if you do see this video of me showing off your Rock Drake before the actual release of Aberration, please have mercy on my soul. I really love your game, and that's why I'm doing this right now, because I want to show people how awesome it's going to be, so please don't hurt my feelings. You don't want to hurt me. But no, it had its cloaking ability. It had the ability to hover or glide, whatever you want to call it. And on top of that, it had the ability to use a tech saddle, which is something I actually didn't expect to see. I didn't think I was going to see this thing start shooting tech beams and have that kind of firepower. I didn't even think that tech was going to be a part of Aberration, to be honest with you. So I am thoroughly impressed, to be honest with you. And, well, I want to move into some of the Basilisk stuff now. So this stuff was leaked as well. And surprisingly, a lot more of this was leaked. It's already been covered a bunch of times by a bunch of different YouTubers right now. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the streamer or the stream channel. And if you do come across any more leaked stuff, you should definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'll shout you out for giving me some inside information and keeping an eye out for me and stuff. Because right now I'm on the lookout for anything and everything aberration related that I can use in a video. That I could say, hey, check this out. And my buddy, insert name here, just gave me the information. So, you know, all that stuff. Good way to get a shout out, I guess. But no, I want to move into some of the Rock Drake stuff. And, well, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that now. One thing I want to point out, it's so cool that this thing has a custom reload. <laughs> I love it so much. This mod's the best. All right, so first we start out with a wingsuit, and yes, this is the leaked footage from the said streamer that had gotten access to the DLC, from what I understand. Now, you can see a basilisk right here, kind of just chilling out under the earth, you know, doing its own thing. You can unbury it, and it will shoot out in dramatic fashion to say hi with its flicky tongue, kind of like it wants to do some obscenities to you that will get me demonetized if I go any further with explaining exactly what I'm talking about, <laughs> wink wonk. You guys, you guys know what I mean, at, at least, I, I, maybe you shouldn't know what I mean. Anyways, model looks good, looks really high quality, and you can tell this is the Aberration Basilisk right off the bat. We don't usually get things like this, at least this high quality, in custom mod form. Now, why they're not on the Aberration map, I do not know. Maybe they were just able to import some of the creatures in through game files that were leaked, possibly. Or maybe they even had early access to Ark and they just said, screw it, I'm going to go ahead and post this because I can. And yeah, stuff. 
Either way, we can see its health starting out right away, 1100 health, which is pretty decent for a level 4 creature, might I add. 650 stam, food is pretty high, weight is pretty freaking high too, god damn, that's a lot of weight you can hold. Malay, pretty good too, I don't know what's baseline damage though, and yes, you can put a saddle on it, and you can ride this sucker if there's a saddle, so instantly we know it's a tameable creature because it has a custom saddles and it seems like they've really gone above and beyond with the saddles to try and make them a little bit more custom and unique with the wraps that go around the basilisk itself and now you jump on and you look like a total badass on your own little worm dragon thing i'm not exactly sure what a what a basilisk actually is or what it would be classified as like if it would be related to a dragon or a wyvern or anything if you have an idea let me know in the comment section below by the way because i'm kind of curious about that but no, looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Stomach's a little bit big. Don't really like that, but otherwise looks kind of good. So moving around, animations are incredibly fluid. They did a really good job with the animations of this guy. It's like a Titan of Boa on steroids. The animations are way better. It looks like it's a much more solid feeling creature and it's massive in size too. This thing definitely bigger than anything really besides the bosses. It can go in water, as you can see, which is good. I don't know how much water's on Aberration, but I would hope it would have some kind of uh, adaptability to the environment. And you can see it can also climb over things. Now, here's the funny thing about this creature. You can see it climb over rocks like this right here really easily. Well, it reminds me of the Thylacaleo, I think it is, and trying to climb structures or the uh, lizard thing, whatever it is. That's actually kind of a buggy thing there, but... It reminds me of like that giant lizard thing where it will try and climb most surfaces you come in contact with. If it can, it'll let you. If it can't, well then it just won't be able to climb it. But you can see right here actually, the person that was screaming this got stuck and they weren't able to go any higher. Kind of sucks to suck, right? But I mean, at the end of the day, it is unfinished work. And you got to keep that in mind with the arc devs because I mean, this might have been completely fixed. It might have been changed entirely. Everything is subject to change. They could just say, screw the DLC uh, when it's supposed to release tomorrow and just not release it. Well, I don't, I don't know if they can do that now because they took our money. They, they have our money now. I and mean, then we could, we could, we could revolt. Either way, now you can see it has attacks. I'm not sure what the deal is with that weird spit. I think that's just a threat and maybe like C or something. And then it also has an attack similar to the Wyvern, I think. The bite is similar. It reminds me of the Wyvern, but also that acid spit for the poison Wyvern, definitely. But I didn't think this thing would be able to shoot acid out of its mouth. I did not expect that. Now, I'm hoping that it doesn't have the same weird thing where the, the spit will come out of the mouth and you can aim any direction and it'll go like anywhere and look really buggy. I'm hoping that's not a thing, but we won't know until we actually get the chance to see or this person does it. Now, it does do considerable damage, it seems. It's burning the crap out of that thing and just, wow. Yeah, Basilisk is actually really strong. Wow. I'm kind of surprised, actually, because those things aren't very easy to kill either, especially with a brand new tame. And this thing's only level four, but I mean, judging from its size, I would assume it would be automatically a very strong and formidable creature, right? I mean, that's that's my assumption, at least with it. I can't get over how good the animations are either. So anyways, we move into some more stuff now, just moving around. This is really showing off the animations of the creature and what it looks like just in general, but it can also bury under the ground, which is really cool. This is a element of the, uh, I think, death worm in Scorched Earth that they've used to give this guy some more mobility and going under the earth and now you're safe and then you can go up and, well, hi, surprise, I'm gonna go ahead, bite you a little bit and do some bad stuff to you, you know, just all that fun stuff. Yeah, thingies. It's kind of cool. What do you guys think about this thing going under the ground? I didn't think I'd be able to do that. It reminds me of uh, Tremors with the spikes on its head. That's what it reminds me of. And it also has a custom uh, level up animation, which seems to be pretty nice and short, which is big for me because I hate the long ones. Now, this one is just it killing a dode, a dode, di uh, 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 diplo, I think, whatever. Yeah, that thing. But guys, that is it for the footage I have on the Basilisk. A lot more on this than I had on the Rock Wyvern. I wish I had more on the Rock Wyvern, but... I mean, I could only get so much. I want to know your thoughts down below in the comment section on this leak and the aberration stuff. How do you feel about this stuff being shown early? Um, I'm just going to move into my final thoughts and some more information, I guess. So that's basically it for all the stuff on the Basilisk, 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 whatever you want to call it. The Bass, the Bassy Bass. Call it the Sea Bass, because why not? So it's giant. I didn't expect it to be quite that big. And it was leaked in Aberration a while ago, actually. And, I mean, I don't. have we even seen footage of the Basilisk? I don't think we have seen footage of the Basilisk, to be honest with you. And 
I'm hang on a second because I'm I'm trying to think back now to if this is even something that we've had a chance to know about besides in the dossier. I think it is possibly. I don't know if you guys remember seeing the basilisk. Let me know. I'm kind of curious now if I'm dropping the ball or not. Other creatures that I should know. And what's your most anticipated creature in Arc Aberration, or at least what's the most anticipated creature you want to see in Arc Aberration? Now. I, I keep on shooting the crap out of stuff because it's just so satisfying to have this giant ass gun and be able to shoot the crap out of everything. God, I freaking love this mod. I love it so much. Look at this. They just destroy the world. Ha bam. They look naked to me. No, it's. Oh, it, oh it, yeah, it can reach all right. We just shoot you in the face. Oh, you're dead. Oh, that guy's dead. What about this one right here? I love this mod. Let me know what you think about this mod in the comment section below because this is one of my all time favorite mods by far. All time favorite mod. I want to move over to the. Uh, community post real quick by Ark. I don't think they've actually spoken out publicly yet about the leak or how serious it is because I'm not sure if it's the whole game that's been leaked or not. I'm not going to try and leak too much of the game just because I don't really want to be that guy type of thing. That makes sense. I know of a couple of the YouTubers that respect the platform enough to also take that stance, which is a very good stance in my opinion to have for both respect for the developers and I guess respect for the community because you don't want to be that guy to leak everything before the DLC drops and if it's possible to even do that. I mean, if, if it's all been released into the... I don't know if it's all been released or not. I'm kind of worried now. What if it has been released? Oh, well. Either way, some of us are respectable enough to do that. So I'm going to move into the other community crunch stuff right now, and then we're going to be done with it. Now, I'm kind of curious what this thing is right here, introducing a bunch of question marks, and then we have this weird, fancy text, and then like a floating island and some kind of face. It's, I don't know if this is going to be an aberration boss or what this is. To be honest with you, I, to me, it kind of looks like it's a giant figure overlooking the Ark. That's what this looks like to me. The pillars are right here, or whatever that go around it, and then the Ark. Because we remember, you remember in the ending, it's cinematic. We had seen the ship, possibly this thing, or some kind of other deity or entity looking down over us. A bunch of text there. And then we had the flat surface, basically. The planet was flat and circular like this, and then... The things were right here, basically encapsulating them. Now, the the arc that we're on is damaged. It's broken. It's 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 basically in pieces. So, to me, it makes sense that this might be it. I don't know what this figure is, unless this is significant of a final boss or the mothership. Maybe another mothership, possibly. I'm trying to look. There's some theories of like the tentacles being inside this place because we do know there's giant spike tentacles kind of like the mist with those whatever things um there's a theory that maybe this is part of the actual mastermind creature or whatever that are basically the giant tentacles and they're all through the map it's just a theory obviously a game theory but <laughs> i love that channel but you know what I mean, guys. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean anyways. So let me move back out of this. So the Arc Aberration countdown is on. And we will see this game launch at 8 a.m. Pacific time on the 12th, which is tomorrow. Hell yeah. So we're going to get some pretty good stuff just before Christmas, just to jump into everything. I can't wait to take a look at it all. Now, you'll see yourselves waking up on a derelict malfunctioning Arc yada 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 underground biome systems. And all kinds of cool stuff like the nameless, spoopy, scary stuff. There's new skins and stuff right now for Extra Life. They did a stream a while ago, actually, for Extra Life, where they got a bunch of donations. And I have huge respect for all developers, really, that want to take part in Extra Life. Or the streamers even involved in doing that stuff. And I think it's a really cool thing. And, I mean, it's so cool that they've done this and had the extra skins thrown in. Now, they're obviously in the Aberration world, and everything looks really nice, to be honest with you. They got the gra or they got the uh, rock climbing hook. He's got his harness on. I don't remember seeing this harness, per se. Maybe that's part of the wingsuit. Can't see the wings behind him. No, maybe not. Not really sure. Anyways, moving on. I want to take a look at the Sponsored Mod Program update. So, Arc Futurism is sponsored. That's the mod I was just using, which you should definitely check it out in the comment section or description, wherever I decide to post it below, because it is seriously a cool freaking mod. I love the mod so much. I genuinely love this mod, and it's not very often I'm hyped for mods, but this one is one I'm hyped for. 
I'm so happy they got sponsored. I, I am so happy they got sponsored because this mod is everything custom. Everything is custom made from the ground up. Every item, everything, every sound, it's all custom and it's incredible to say the least. But guys, that is it for this video. The Basilisk is cool. The Rock Drake is also really cool. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Definitely let me know. Leave a like on this video if you thought it was cool and you want to see more Arc Aberration stuff in the near future. Maybe I'll do one more video on the leaks and stuff. Maybe I won't. It just depends on how good the engagement is on this video and how much you guys really want to see that stuff early. And if I find anything or if you find anything, well, then let me know in the comment section as well. Point me towards your source. I will shout you out or your YouTube channel or whoever you are uh, in the video. And I mean, we'll all be happy. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Are hazy. It hasn't helped these hours.